Hey guys, it's Matt here. And in this video, well, we're gonna be doing something a bit odd. <laughs> and we're going to be downgrading every A5 device that I own to iOS 8.4.1. So you can see here, I've got every device that I own at least that has, or that is capable of running iOS 9. Actually, that's not true. Now I have every device that I own that is capable of running iOS 9. Now this device is obviously going to be excluded. I'm still running seven on this one. And for some reason, brightness all the way down. This one's still running 7.0 and I have no plans on updating this to eight or nine. So this one does not count toward this. This one I've already downgraded to iOS 8 and you can see it's working pretty well. What I am going to do is downgrade every other device that I own. So this would be my mini one, which take the cover off. So my mini one, my iPhone 4S and my iPad 2. These are all running nine. And honestly, I don't use these because they run nine and well, nine's terrible. So we're going to be downgrading each and every one of these iPads, each and every one of these devices to iOS 8, just so then I can breathe a bit more life into them since well, they're super slow on nine and downgrading to eight is not terribly hard. First though, we're gonna need to jailbreak every single one of these. Thankfully, they won't need to stay jailbroken for this to work. Once you downgrade to eight, the jailbreak will be removed, which is fine because I don't like usually jailbreaking my stuff, except for these kind of purposes here for downgrading. So here you can see I've got my Dell laptop here. Now, I won't be able to screen record, unfortunately, just because I don't have the software for that. Yes, I know I'm using my bed as like the recording thing, but this is like the best thing that I have just because well, I really don't have many better options. My desk is right now super crammed and this is just gonna be something that I'm gonna do just like kind of off the cuff. This is again, just a more laid back kind of style video because this is no effort February because that definitely exists. All right, so we've got my laptop here and I'll throw just like an iOS device here. I'm going to need two different types of cables for this, obviously, because, well, one of them I need a lightning cable and two of the devices I need a 30 pin. So I'm gonna need to grab both of those real quick. Since the A5 devices didn't really have a standard connector, obviously they did at the time once lightning was released, newer A5 devices came out with lightning, like the iPod Touch and the iPad mini one. So here we go now. I've got the lightning cable here and we're gonna plug this into the mini one. So I'll just make sure it actually shows up in here and it doesn't, ow. All right, so what we need to do is open the toolbox on this device and hit jailbreak. And we need to run the Phoenix jailbreak here and start. Now what this will do is it will load the Phoenix jailbreak app onto the iPad. Now what this will do is, if this for some reason does flag, um, like Windows flags the jailbreak tools for some reason, there we go. And that's gonna open up on the iPad there. And now this should open and it does. And we are going to prepare for jailbreak. This one, for some reason, it did jailbreak, but Cydia does not work. So I'm gonna just try restoring this one with iTunes and just see if that will work. I'll do that off camera. All right, so this device is starting back up and theoretically the jailbreak should already be done. So like I can, oops, here we are. So we've got the iPad here and I'm pretty sure I can just open up Cydia and there we go. I don't need to have this plugged in anymore because I don't want 3U tools to get confused. So we're going to plug in the 4S and do the same thing to this guy. So what we'll need to do is I'll need to pull the product build version and I might as well just show this on camera just because this will prove useful to some people. Now let me out there. This will prove useful to some people. If I go to general about this says 704 and I can actually just put that in on all of these devices because every one of these devices supported 704. So I'll put in the value here to 7.0.4. And then on this one here, we'll change the product build version to the version that is specified here, which is 11B554A. That is all we need to do. And what we'll do, do this on here, trust this developer app. Yes, I trust. Phoenix, open that up and prepare for jailbreak on this guy. Okay, cool, now I don't need to worry about that. So put 7.0.4 and change the product build version. The software update uses both of them. iOS will show the string version in your settings, but you need to change the product build version as well for this to work. So on this device, we also need to put, I think that might've crashed. We need to put 11B554A and then save and done. Now. Both of these devices, I'm gonna just check this one real quick to make sure I actually saved it. Yes, I did. So both of these devices now have the 
patch that you need to make it work. So all we need to do now is fully restart these devices. So I, you might not have to do this, but, and I think this iPod, this iPod again, I showed in a previous video, does not have the best battery. So we're just gonna plug that in here and turn on the iPad 2. There we go. And now on both of these devices, I still need to apply this one here. Both of these should now show in the software update panel that they have the update update to iOS 8.4.1. So technically you're updating to a lower version of iOS. That's why this trick works. And honestly, oh, dang it, Cydia. Honestly, it's not a hard trick to pull off, which is nice because that means most anybody can do this because it's really not that difficult. All you need is a Windows PC, 3U tools, and that's it, really. There's not much that you need. So these devices sometimes will also show progress bars when you do this modification. This one is, uh, the 4S is just sitting here. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. It's kind of weird how that works, but yeah, this one did something different. It takes you to the slide to upgrade screen. You slide, this one requires I have my passcode. And then it takes you to a white Apple screen. That doesn't happen on every device. Sometimes it does. And it's kind of weird because no 4S had a white Apple logo screen. So it's kind of funny to see that. But turn to Cydia, ignore. This one seemed to have done it faster. And now on this device here, just because this one seemed to be ready first, I should technically be able to, and I'm gonna install this one on here and hope that it actually succeeds. So if I go to software update here, now on this iPad, unless something went wrong, it should show the iOS 8.4.1 update in here and then all you have to do is install it and i will obviously show the rest of the process here once that's done just because even though it's not a tutorial i'm still just showing stuff on camera so this device is still doing its thing and this is still installing files though this one's way behind everything else and yes on a5 devices for some reason this takes forever hey there we go finally this one actually shows the update so we can download and install and i agree to the terms so plug this one in because it's downloading an update and this one should theoretically now be ready to download the update yeah shut up so return to Cydia. This actually did finish, so I can run the modifications on this one as well. And open up files on this iPad here. And this fell asleep. Gosh dang it. There we go, this one's doing its thing. So, and this one appeared, download and install. And I'm gonna grab another charger just because that should keep these devices fully charged when they're updating. I'll let this one do its thing. It's gonna pop up an agreement once it actually shows that. Okay. I think I know what's wrong with this one. You know, you're probably like, well, you're just not being patient enough. I actually do know what the problem is. And that is this device is signed into iCloud. And for some reason it doesn't like that. Neither of these two are because I just restored them, but yeah, sign out. We've got all the devices here. All of them are showing the update, which is cool. They're all downloading. And I guess we're just gonna time-lapse this through. So here we go.
looks like every one of these devices are ready to set up. Of course, it has me connect to a Wi-Fi network. Now, this should actually crash if it does it right. That's fine. And yep, cool, cool. So it just crashed. That is exactly what I wanted. Now, the setup assistant is not intending that you do this, so it will crash on every single one of these, or at least it is supposed to. Yep, there it goes. And they all did. So now we have to go to settings on every single one of these and we have to reset. Technically we have succeeded, but we need to reset every one of these. So we need to go to reset, reset. And then this one's a bit different. General, erase all content and settings, erase, erase. Uh, this one requires a passcode. That will hopefully change when I'm done. Erase, erase, erase. Erase, erase, erase. There we set and these two went right to Siri I'll set it to use just because I'm curious don't send and here we go get started on all of these and here we go into iOS 8 all these devices have been successfully downgraded and yeah that's about it for this video. I kind of ended abruptly, unfortunately. That's just because I had stuff to do that day and I just couldn't really finish my thoughts. So I've got my iPad 2 here, still running iOS 8. It still runs really well. So you can see here, we've got the iPad 2 here running iOS 8. And honestly, it's a lot faster than iOS 9 on this has ever been. So if I open like the settings app here, you can see that opens up much faster than it ever would on iOS 9. And it's, well, it's not fast it's much better and that's ultimately just what I wanted with this because this is much better, it's much more usable now. Sure, app compatibility isn't as good, but it's at least much better in that regard. So the other devices run it pretty good too. So that's also very cool. So if you wanna see me do a more in-depth video on these, leave it in the comments down below because I'd love to, I honestly would love to make a video on that. For now, that'll about do it. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, then give it a like, hit the subscribe button if you like the content that you see on this channel, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye guys.